So do you know Sanskrit or just blabbering? Okay, so he says that. So now for them again, I want to clarify one thing. For Hindutva, knowing Sanskrit is like authority over Hinduism. Like Sanskrit is the language. This is very much like Islam and Christianity. Like okay, there is Hebrew and I mean not Christianity. Christianity don't focus much on language, but especially Islam, which focuses much on the Arabic. But uh, for I mean Hinduism also focuses on Sanskrit. I know Hinduism has importance for Sanskrit, but there is local literature also. There are local literature, and everyone doesn't need to know the Sanskrit uh, to be a Hindu or something. Just talk about Hinduism. I mean I don't know. I mean why they are so much like uh, like do you know Sanskrit? How dare you talk about hinduism without knowing sanskrit like i don't know i mean what kind of ideology is this, this is very interesting again let, let me everything you're saying I, there's comp, like it's so comparable to islam uh, and it's funny because these people keep saying like oh armin you think like you're thinking about hinduism with your abrahamic background and that's why you don't understand it but then everything I, the more i learn about them the more i realize how similar they are to islam okay like and and the arguments that muslims make because and a lot of Muslims tell you, like, if you agree with them, like, they have a lot of scholars that don't speak, like, um, you know, only 20% of um, Muslims speak Arabic, right? Uh, most Muslims mm -hmm. don't speak Arabic, right? That's not their language. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you agree with their position, it doesn't matter if you don't speak Arabic. They congratulate you, they celebrate mm -hmm. you, they call you an intellectual. But as soon as you disagree with them, they're like, well, you don't even speak Arabic. Right. So how could you know you still you have to read the text in the original Arabic form. And then even if you don't speak Arabic and you show that the scholars that speak Arabic agree with you, that's not good enough. You have to speak the original language. And, and you even, know, so if, even if you speak the, I mean, if you don't speak the original language, they will say that you are doing some propaganda and actually you don't know. And things yeah. Like yeah. That. So, yeah. So even after like sometimes they're like, oh, you don't speak Arabic, so you can't know. And then somebody's like, well, actually, I am an ex-Muslim Arab speaker. And then they, they keep moving the goalposts. But yeah, but they're very similar. But, go ahead. Yeah. but this is like this is like true for him i mean i will say especially hindutva for i mean normal hindu people this outrage is uh not much there okay so i mean mm. i don't know but i think that uh, oh so you're saying hindu that this people, is not that's not very common you're saying this is like unique not very common argument no 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 no. this is uh -huh. what you are saying this is very true for hindutva movement and the very certain ah. section of the society who are this hindu nationalism idea is there but this mm -hmm. is not true for each and every hindus like uh, mm -hmm. for general hindus this may not be true okay okay, okay. so they are not much, well, much focused say, on whether you speak i mean they have importance on sanskrit so, like the, but but still they are not so angry all the time like okay so they yeah. don't get offended with the, uh, so this kind of offending movement and boycott 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 this kind of movement is not it's a more of a hindu thing you're saying okay okay yeah so then you know, then they are going on saying do you know sanskrit uh, oh so then i said them that i don't know sanskrit but i but i can understand some of the words and i can clearly say the translation you are using is more like an interpretation than a word to word translation moreover the translation i gave isn't my translation it's by a religious scholar so uh, then they say, then they are not actually highlighting. I mean, they are not answering my points that I raised. They are just blabbering nonsense. Like I don't mind any translation as long as the verse is translated completely in English. What do, what do they mean? Like I also translated it completely. Copy paste the link of the translation you are using. If it is wrong, I will correct you. It is a shame that you have started the name calling after. What name calling did I do? What no, name calling did I do here? What the hell? It is a shame that you started name calling. He name called me Takia and uh, what yeah, that yeah. that was there half knowledge and etc etc. Uh, it is a shame that uh, name calling after getting exposed exposed on the very first the point hell? you made within three point, minutes into the video. Oh, so oh okay, God. I don't have a problem. Then I I'm just uh, yeah, yeah. explaining it again and again. Then uh, they are saying some nonsense thing, and I don't want to go to it. Okay. And, oh, see, then then he's saying me. Then the religious scholar is wrong. What? Yeah. I mean, if the Only translation the... doesn't agree with you, then the religious yeah. scholar is wrong. What kind of yeah. thing is that? Then again, that very similar always... to Muslim. Again, guy, this is this is so similar with Muslims. Okay, like he a lot. Like, so you oh you read the Quran, you don't agree with me. You didn't read it in Arabic. Oh, you did read it. In, uh, you did read it in Arabic. Well, you're not a scholar. Oh, yeah, you found scholars. Very much... No, wait. Let me let me fin let me finish this. Okay, this is how the steps work. Okay, you say that. Let me go from the beginning again. Okay, so 
well, you read this Quran. You read the Quran. You disagree with me. Okay, you should. You didn't read it in the original Arabic, so that's why you're wrong. Oh, you did understand it in Arabic, um, or you found somebody that speaks Arabic that has the same interpretation. Well, you're not that person, or you are not is not a scholar. You have to actually look at scholars. Or you actually found a scholar that speaks Arabic and that agrees with your position. Well, no, that scholar is wrong. The scholars that I tell you that if the scholar disagrees with my position, then that's yeah. not the right scholar that you have to go to. Again, these are the steps. The steps that they take. It's very simple. But Katie, Katie, can you respond to Katie here? I agree that regular Hindu people are not this outrageous and they would still be upset and call you immoral. I mean, yeah, they call, I mean, for what they will call you immoral? Like, uh, it depends on, like, yeah. I mean, yeah, like, uh, anyone, anyone doesn't get, I mean, if you show now this sexy Kali, suppose, if you just come to and come and show it to some regular Hindu, I mean, obviously they won't like it. I mean, definitely they won't like it. But uh, yeah, but will they go to file an FIR against you? Like, I don't know. Like, this I don't <laughs> Obviously, they won't like but, it. Like, if you show this to my parents also, they won't like it. But will they take the step of, like, going to some FIR and, I mean, all these kind of, like, a you mean, F, 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 you're talking about if I finally a police report against me. That's what you're saying. FIR, right? Yeah, yeah. First information yeah. report. So the Fair filing so. filing cases against the person, harassing that person online, bullying. Right. I mean, obviously they won't do that. I'm talking about right. that. I'm well, not Katie's... saying that they won't be offended, but that the, right. I mean, I can get offended with anything. Like th that's a different right. issue. If someone, uh, I mean. Uh, someone makes some homophobic joke, I may get offended with that. Like, why are you, yeah. I mean, demeaning the LGBTQ community? But does that mean that I will go and file ca cases against them, like, and then I will harass them online? I mean, that is not necessary, mm. right? I mean, someone so has it, the right to be homophobic. So it sounds, they, they well, sounds, so that, sounds like you're agreeing with Katie. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. agreeing with Katie. But they, they, okay. they're not that outrageous, but yes, they, they will, I mean, they will not like it, but yeah, yeah. they're right. not outrageous. Cool. So, so then they are saying something like, you can show me any... Achha. So again and again, they are making the same point that the caste system is not there. I mean, they are not... Then I shared the links also, which are very reputed sites, like government sites, actually, government websites of the text. I'm sharing these links there, these translations are given. And uh, then they are saying something, okay. Then uh, and, and then it goes on and then uh, and like this it goes on back and forth back and forth like Sanskrit Sanskrit and all this you are then the, in between he told that you are misguiding the audience and finally the final comment and then he was saying that you haven't read the Gita so I, I said that I had read the Gita when I was a child again when I was a teenager again when I became an adult and I mean how <laughs> is assuming that I haven't read the Gita I don't know like uh, and then finally like uh yes see finally it comes to after all this discussion it comes to these things fine you are free to free not to consider bhagavad gita as the word no like it comes to uh another thing it the was word there of God. Uh, he said you're all free i'm to... saying is that the bhagavad see all i'm saying is that the bhagavad gita being the word of god simply cannot be unfair to the devotee so everything mm. comes to considering the bhagavad gita <sighs> to be a word of god as oh, that is wow. not the nature of God. So that this is not a logical explanation. If it seems so, then the, I have see if my interpretation is correct. I don't know. This so is so crazy. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. This is so Islamic and Christian. This is so Abrahamic. Wait, so the Bible can the Bible cannot yeah, yeah, be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Why cannot the Bible be wrong? Because it's the word of God. Why? Well, How do you know there's the word a... of God? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's so similar. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> They accuse others of Abrahamic lens. Okay. So yeah. now it goes on and on. I mean, after some more discussion, finally it comes to uh, this one. There is nothing, see this one, there is nothing wrong with the caste system. The problem is only with humans. So consider one caste superior to the other. Each soul takes rebirth to experience the world in a different way. Some want to experience it intellectually, some physically. Now, if I have come here to sing and dance and play, how can you force my soul to go and study? I mean, the, the see the end of the discussion happens at a justification of the caste system. I mean, this is so ridiculous. Like it started with no caste system doesn't exist. It ends with no caste system is not wrong. I mean, wow. <laughs> this is itself so ridiculous. The, the mask, <laughs> the, the mask slips. The mask slips. <laughs> 
I find that so hypocritical. I mean, the discussion starts with caste system is not there, and then mm. it ends with caste system is not wrong. <laughs> so anyway, when you corner them into a position, so they have to uh, admit it. Yeah, yeah. 